hello everyone so google has just added a really nice feature for students and basically anyone any and teachers also it's like the i guess only best thing they have done so far right now okay so the feature is now you can up scan documents and upload to the assignments in google classroom like you just go to the assignment and click add work in some phones the icon for the scanning is available here only and in for scanning in others you can find here scan pages see select scan pages to combine multiple pages into a single pdf file okay so let's see how good it is now so it opened my camera now i'm going to take some screen pics yeah now we tap yeah so here we have many features like we can select what type of picture color we want just color color drawing rotate we can crop and then select parts too and to now if you want to just submit a single page you just click save and if you want to rename it click on the name here and you can rename try adding the dot pdf also i haven't tried without dot pdf and submitting it maybe the file is gone cannot be opened in google drive so you might face problems later yeah so you can rename like i can rename it to sample assignment yeah it got renamed now if you want to click some more page just click here white right. here plus i can and again the camera will open you can click another page and now as you yeah, see you want to remove it you can do by minus here delete current page cancel by clicking back you can go back to the scanning now here as we see that it uses our phone camera so like if you want to want flash the yeah so flash or some filters you want to you can also use your front camera too okay so let me take a picture now i'll show you how to upload that so yeah that upload so now i have changed rename the file now you just have to click save take some time after that the assignment is not turned in right now you can see how it looks yeah now now the good thing here is like me teachers or you all, you also can edit it yeah so i there are many options like erase or pen if you want to write something Yeah, so let me try something like okay now what how can i say it yeah say it so like if you want to change some slight issue in your writing you don't need to scan again yeah see it renamed it to edit it yeah that's actually bad and now we also can't rename the file from here but i found one trick to that like if you forgot to rename the file and you want to rename it again so in here after editing it shows in the file name edited sample assignment now dual this is the bad thing actually they haven't added any option to edit it edit the rename it 
file but there is a way to do that so you just need to open in document yeah right this part yeah so click open document this will open in the document in a google drive <coughs> let's wait for it to load yeah so now what happens is when you upload a what happens that when you upload a class assignment on classroom the assignment gets saved in the classroom folder and in the classroom name so this file is actually present there right now you click you go to here rename now now you can rename so now i'm going to change name to just assignment okay now let's rename it now the assignment got renamed but if we go back here it's still showing the same assignment now what you need to do is remove it now these all steps you have to do if you forgot to rename the file while scanning or edited it you can also scan again but if there are like hundreds of pages maybe i hope you don't get so much assignment now what you need to do is go to add work click drive my drive classroom this is the classroom name see now here's the assignment and sample assignment of pdf this is the earlier pdf no if i had if i hadn't edited the assignment then we would be seeing only single pdf with rename with different name so you just have to select assignment of pdf select yeah you can also like that's the normal feature of you can add more files now the assignment is still not turned in so remember to turn it in turn in yeah work submitted see this actually the google adding this feature to google classroom this is the best thing google has ever done i guess okay thanks folks don't forget to subscribe and like like and subscribe <laughs>